I'm fighting Susie in Rough and Rowdy in literally less than two weeks. And since you probably don't know who I'm talking about, it's Jonah's sister. And since you still probably don't know who I'm talking about, they're from David Dobrik's little vlog squad posse. I actually wish I could introduce her in a different way just to be nice, but like her famous birthdays literally says, best known for being the sister of Nick Antonian, which is AKA Jonah. I don't know who Nick is, but we love... Jonah, what is this? <laughs> Why? Why is this Jonah's profile picture on famous birthdays? Bro, even Vardon has a better about than you do. So don't come to me as your only diss calling me a clout chaser when you're literally the ultimate clout chaser. You're literally related to someone who knows David Dobrik. So you can't call me a clout chaser. Like I want to hear a different diss than that, please. So technically Susie's like a side, side, side. Peace. If you're watching this right now and you've never seen my face before, you're probably like, who the fuck is this Sarah Ferruja girl fighting Susie from the vlog squad? This is how it went down. So I was in my bed scrolling on Instagram before bed like I usually do and I came across Susie's Instagram story and I clicked on it. I read that she was practically begging for someone to fight her because <laughs> no one in America would. So I was like, let me just send her a text over. So I said, I'm down. Didn't think she was gonna respond to be honest. A few weeks later, I'm filming a YouTube video and I get a DM from Sue's dog. Um, why did Susie respond to me? Do you know Susie like David Dobrik? No. And she's like, what's your height and weight? Not gonna lie, I was super excited about this fight from the start, but I had no idea how Susie was gonna approach this until she posted an Instagram post three days ago calling me a clout chaser, calling me out, saying she's gonna beat the f*** out of me. She's gonna knock me out, blah, 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 blah. So now I'm actually heated and I actually really wanna fight this bitch and knock her the f*** out. No, like I'm I'm not just saying this, I actually plan on knocking Susie out. When I found out I was Grace O'Malley's replacement, I was actually genuinely confused. <laughs> As to why Susie would reach out to Grace O'Malley to fight her. Like, she actually would have whooped her ass and sent her back to flipping kebabs at fucking Jonah's restaurant, whatever the fuck you want to call it. By the way, if you plan on betting on Susie for any reason, just make sure to pick up a few extra shifts because anything you put towards that fight is literally going straight in the fucking garbage chute. Like, there's no way she's winning and I will personally deliver you double the money if I lose. Like, just to let you know, if you put any money on Susie, it's going straight in the fucking toilet with her career. Make sure to tune in December 9th for Rough and Rowdy on pay-per-view. Go on their website. It's only $30 and if you can't afford that Susie's only fan subscriptions free at the end of the day Susie call me whatever you want but I don't think clout chaser is the right word because I didn't have David Dobrik's nipples to suck on my entire career I'm literally from London Ontario I'm trying to make Canada proud and we all love an underdog story so at the end of the day I won't be mad if you don't cheer for me but just know that Susie you're going down see you December 9th